hello this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to divide the body parts when you're knitting it top down I did show you how to knit this version when you're knitting top down I started with this uh, uh, I cast on about 34 stitches and I have knit the length that I need up to here and I picked up stitches and I knit one knit one purl rib and I knit another so it has to be equal and then I picked up stitches I do have a tutorial I will put the link below but this time I wanted to show you how to divide the body parts okay so uh, I am measuring one of my tops that fits perfect for me and uh, unfortunately this is a gorgeous yarn but I only had three balls of it so uh, I'm making a shrug for myself just just to cover my shoulder because uh, it gets uh, stiff sometimes. Okay, so uh, this is how it's going to look like. And uh, so uh, what I did is I am going to knit. I have already knit all the way to the underarm right here. So I have did, did my last increase on both. We do increase on the left, on the right. And I knit... Uh, this is going to fit me <laughs> so uh, for a small size it's about seven seven to seven and a half inches you knit from the back down and I did my short rows just to point that out uh, so uh, with that included when you measure mine is about nine inches long and uh, uh, I don't care about the sleeves I don't measure it usually mine is 16 when you measure it like the length the long when you measure it but I will be adding stitches so I will show you that so I have knit all the way to the underarm and I'm going to divide this the sleeve um, I don't have enough yarn I just have this uh, this one I did it wrong just to show see I I forgot to add pick up stitches in the middle and I did it at the end and it didn't look good when I was wearing it so it was like showing off I didn't like this part so that's why I'm redoing it so I only have this yarn left so what I will do is first uh, I will uh, knit a couple of rows for the body part and I will come back to finish the sleeves uh, that's why I like about knitting top uh, down uh, you can control the yarn you have and uh, if you have if you have enough yarn I would knit the sleeves and then come and finish the body part so this is going to be like a shawl collar that's what I wanted just to cover my neck area because it does get stiff and uh, the vest the sh shrug I'm wearing as you can see I'm wearing it on most of my pictures and in my tutorials, it's a green that I've been wearing it for years. It's getting old. So I need to uh, make more for myself. So I thought this would be perfect because that one doesn't have a collar. This would be perfect just to cover my uh, neck area. So uh, I'll let's uh, I'll go back to my uh, sitting area and I will show you how to do this. Um, for an extra small, I wouldn't even add stitches. Would be enough. But if you are extra large, 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 extra large, two extra large, three extra large, I would advise you to uh, add stitches here when we're dividing the body parts. Okay, let me just go back to my place and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am at the front where the underarm is. So I did my increase. Uh, let me just look at this. I'm going to do my last increase and I forgot to do an increase on the other side. Okay, so I do my increase. One increase and I knit one and I make another increase. Okay, for this I'm going to be adding five stitches. Okay, so to do that what I do is I turn my work and this is how I do I grab as to purl
and what I do is I turn it I grab the stitch from here so that's one increase so I'm adding stitches this is two this is three four and five Okay, so I'm going to let these sit here. What I do is you can either uh, grab a scrap yarn or you can uh, oh, a stitch a stitch holder. You can grab, I think I had one of the, those here somewhere. Um, but what I do is I like to put them on my circular needle so I don't have to, you know, keep on moving the stitches. This is what I do. And I move them like this all the way until I come to my marker and uh, where I do my increase. So I pick up my stitches just like this and I'll be right back. While I have the stitches on the circular needle, I'm just going to measure. See, it's 15. Perfect. So fit my uh, under my arm, my biggest part of my arm is 16. So I'm adding five one there and five one there. So that five inches will add another inch and that would be perfect. And I'm not counting the weight that I lost so far. So nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do. Oh, no, I'm not going to add five st stitches here. I'm sorry. So I already add five stitches here. The five stitches is going to be on the other side of the arm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue knitting and I will show you a trick. And I do, I did show this on my other tutorials. But uh, while I have you guys here, I'll show it to you. See, uh, I don't like gaps. So what I do is I do crisscross. <laughs> so what crisscross is my famous word. So what I do is I flip the stitch just like this. Can you see? So it's it's done crisscross and I put it back to this needle and I start knitting. I just continue knitting and there would be no gaps at all. It's just a trick that I figured years ago. And uh, see, no gap at all. There's no gap. Usually when you don't do that, there would, you know, your yarn, your, these two stitches would get longer and longer. So this here, can you see? So there's about an inch, approximately an inch, maybe more, that five uh, stitches that uh, we did the increase. See, it's over an inch. Perfect. So this would work. So just to give you an idea, I bought this yarn over a decade ago it's angora blend cotton blend silk and uh, I, I wanted to make a hat but there was too much yarn to make a hat the scarf was not enough because i make my scarves long for the homeless and so I, so I said to myself let me try to make a shrug for myself just to cover my shoulders so i continue knitting all the way nothing different so I will meet you at this end and I will repeat what I just did. Okay, so I'm at the other side. So I'm going to do my last increase. So I knit one. And this is how I do my increase. I don't do the yarn over because that gives a huge hole. And if I'm doing a lacy uh, stitch, then I would do yarn over, but this is just a regular stockinette stitch, so I'm not going to be uh, doing any yarn over. This is how I do my increase, and I knit one stitch in the middle, and I grab it from here, and I go like this, and I make a stitch. Okay, so on the other side, I showed you how to do the increase uh, purl-wise. And this time, I'll just show you how to do it uh, the increase knit-wise. So I put my yarn on the back, and I knit one. But I don't pull the stitch. What I do is 
I put it back and I knit again and I kind of pick it up like this, like twist it a bit. Three. Four. And then five. Just like this. I pull this and I move these uh, sleeve stitches to another knitting circular needle. And I will just move it like this as I showed on the other sleeve. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm at, uh, I did my increase and I moved my stitches. So I'm going to repeat what I did. Remember I said I do crisscross. I pick the stitch from here and I pick the stitch from here and I flip this on top of that. Oops. Just like, oh, what did I do? Grabbed other stitch there. Huh. <laughs> okay, now I lost it. Perfect. Okay, let me do it again. So I grab this one. Let me grab this one and let me grab this one and I flip this on top of each other and I put it back and I just continue knitting these uh, stitches one at a time. And this is all I do because I don't have enough yarn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep, uh, get, uh, knit a couple of rows and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to knit the sleeve. Just a couple of rows of rib stitch just to finish it. Because, I, like I said, I don't have more yarn of this. And it's going to be a shrug. And I will knit the other sleeve. And uh, whatever is left over, I will continue knitting. Uh, I will knit uh, rib stitch until I finish the yarn. I usually use up <laughs> all the yarn. And then I just bind off. That's what I do. If it's a shrug, I don't do any increase or, or decrease. Um for uh, plus sizes but for small size medium size large size i do do a decrease on the waist area when i'm knitting and i do have tutorials on that as well so i just wanted to show you how uh, i divide the body parts i do have these uh, same information uh, on my old videos but i just wanted to update and give you more uh, details so uh, I am come. I came where I did the rib, uh, the one knit one purl about thirty four uh, stitches. So I hope you like this tutorial, and I will come back to show you. You will uh, show you uh, if you want to see the end result. I would highly recommend you to go to my Instagram. All the information is in my about section. I linked all my links there. Also, all my uh, information, my links uh, are on the description box under this video. And my Instagram page is Angora underscore Bolera. The reason I put that name, because I knit lots of Angora Bolera shrugs. Okay. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy knitting!